Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the solution for the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. So from this, we can identify this entire term is capital P, this entire term is capital Q and this entire term is capital R. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. Now I am going to substitute the value of p, q and r that is x into y square plus z. In the same way dy by y into x square plus z and the last term is dz by z into x square minus y square. Now we have to use the appropriate Lagrange's multiplier to get the solution. So first thing I am going to use Lagrange's multipliers as x for the first for the second one since we have this y x square and here it is x y square it will be better if I take minus y for the second one so that the terms get cancelled and the last one let's take here it is minus z y square here it is plus so I will take it one if needed I am going to make it as minus 1. So I have to copy these terms first. So dx by x into y square plus z equal to dy by y into x square plus z equal to dz by z into x square minus y square. So here we multiply this with x and x, this with minus y and here it is minus y. So now after multiplying here it is z y square with minus sign. Even here it is minus. So it is better if I take this as minus. So I have to multiply with minus 1 both numerator and denominator. So it depends upon the term we decide the multiplier. Now we are going to use the ratio property and add all the numerators. So this will be further equal to all adding all the numerators we get x dx minus y dy minus dz whole division. Here this is x square. So when I multiply inside it is x square y square plus x square z. Here it is minus y square x square and minus y square z. The last term is minus z x square plus z y square. The purpose of taking like this to make the terms getting cancelled. So one positive and one negative will keep cancelling. Finally this becomes 0. So here we finally get x dx minus y dy minus dz whole division 0. Now we can take two terms, this last two terms, but here I am going to take without the multiplier. So we get dz by z into x square minus y square and on the other side it is x dx minus y dy minus dz whole division 0. When we cross multiply this entire term will be multiplied by 0. So totally what we are going to get is x dx minus y dy minus dz equal to 0. Now we go for integrating on both the sides. This becomes x square by 2. This is minus y square by 2 and this is minus z equal to 0 and there is an integration constant C1. So if I take LCM 
it is going to be x square minus y square minus 2z whole division 2 equal to c1 by taking this 2 to the other side we get x square minus y square minus 2z equal to 2c1 which we shall name it as constant a. In the same way we have to choose another set of multiplier. So let us copy the term first dx by x into y square plus z. So dx by x into y square plus z equal to dy by y into the terms are x square plus z x square plus z which is equal to dz by the last term is z into x square minus y square. So z into x square minus y square. So let us take the multipliers. So using Lagrange's multiplier Since we outside we have x, y and z, let us use 1 by x, 1 by y and 1 by z. So let us see what happens. So we have to multiply this 1 by x with both numerator and denominator, 1 by y for the second term and 1 by z for the third term. Now if we see these outside terms gets cancelled. So it is 1 by x dx division y square plus z in the same way 1 by y dy here x square plus z and the last term is 1 by z dz by x square minus y square. So let us use the ratio property and we are going to subtract these two means 1 by x dx and minus 1 by y dy will come in the numerator together and this will become y square plus z minus x square and minus z and equal to this one the last term 1 by z dz by x square minus y square. So here you can cancel z and minus z. So finally this is 1 by x dx minus 1 by y dy whole division from this if I take minus in common this becomes x square minus y square so that I can cancel this with the other side. So now after cancelling this we can carry this minus sign to the other side. So we left with 1 by x dx minus 1 by y dy equal to minus 1 by z dz and now let us bring this also here. So 1 by x dx minus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz equal to 0 and on integrating both the sides this is log x this is minus log y and this is plus log z equal to 0 that is the integration constant c2. Since all the terms are log it is better to use log c2 so that we can remove the log. So using the log rule these two comes as a product that is log xz and this is a minus so it comes as a division and hence it is log c2 removing log we get x z by y equal to c2 let us name this as b. So after getting a and b we can go for writing the general solution and the general solution is f of a comma b equal to 0 and a is x square minus y square minus 2z. So f of x square minus y square minus 2z comma b is xz by y equal to 0. We got the solution 
for the given partial differential equation by using the Lagrange's multiplier method.